good. Thank you. Hello, Chris. Lovely to see you here at the QT Canberra. Lovely to see you too. Getting a little spruced up before the next leg of our tour. One should always look good before drinking champagne. Well, another city, another cuvee on the next leg of our Art of Tasting tour. I'll go get some glasses. You have the knowledge. Shall we go? Let's go. Okay, so we're in the bar, we have the tools of the trade, so do you mind if I... Uh... Have you opened a bottle of champagne before? Well, I know how to get the job done, but come to think of it, I should probably ask the pro seeing as we have you here. While, <laughs> while I'm here. <laughs> so the first thing we need to do is make sure the champagne's nice and cold. So straight out of the fridge or from an ice bucket. If I was in a hurry, could I put it in the freezer? Some people do it, it's not great etiquette, and you can leave it in there a little bit too long and you end up with a broken bottle. So the best thing to do if you want to get your champagne nice and cold is to throw it into an ice bucket, half full of ice, half full of water, and add some salt. So once the bottle's cold... We're going to wipe it down, make sure we can get a good grip. Then we're going to remove the foil. I like to get a, a wine key or a waiter's friend and just wrap the knife along that perforated edge so we get a nice clean cut foil. Pull that foil off. Then what we're going to do is secure the cork. Then we're going to take the O in the cage yep. and we're going to start to turn it. Do the twist. Do you know how many twists, turns there are? I'm thinking five. I'm thinking you're pretty close. Ooh. I'm thinking there's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Always six. Oh, there you go. So then we're going to loosen the cage. Now some will say take the cage off. I actually quite like leaving the cage on because it gives you a little extra grip. We're going to wrap our fingers around the cage and then what we're going to do is move the cork. We're not going to twist and, and pull that cork. We're actually going to twist and pull the bottle. And you'll feel the cork starting to come. Put pressure back on the cork on your end and what we're after is a little hiss. Best sound in the world. <laughs> so took the words right out of my mouth. And then of course, the most important part, after we give it a little wipe, is to then pour. So this is Perichouette's Gombut. It's the foundations that the, the house is built on. What we're going to experience is a fresh, lively, crisp, and overall elegant champagne. An absolute delight. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. That's so beautifully refreshing. What kinds of foods would you match with this? It's a very traditional match for me. There is a little bit of Pinot Noir, a bit of Meunier in there, so we've got a bit of structure. So it is quite a food-friendly wine, but I'd be looking at oysters, white fish. So there are all of the classic pairings, but we're all about unexpected matches on this tasting tour. So let's go to the kitchen and find out what the chef has in store. Sounds good to me. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, so we're here in the kitchen at Capital Bar and Grill with Executive Chef Josh. Hi. G'day, how are you? Good. Nice Cheers. to see you. Now, we were talking in the bar earlier about the different kinds of foods that would go really well with this Grand Bruce. Mm -hmm. What do you have in mind for us today? I thought I'd go a little bit left field and we're going to do um, a mushroom tart. Wonderful. And where are these mushrooms from? The mushrooms we're using today have come from Helen and Ian Chu over at Majestic Mushrooms, about a half hour's drive away in Moran Bateman. They prioritise smaller production to produce a better quality product. This allows the nutrients in the soil to be spread across less mushrooms, which improves their quality. So they run a pretty tight operation over there. They designed and built a fully climate controlled facility from scratch. Ian can even make precise adjustments through the state of the art technology they have from the touch of his iPhone. You can always tell one of the best quality because they're firm in texture, they have fresh earthy aroma, and depending on the variety, they're not too big. Within 12 hours of ordering, they're picked and delivered right here to the doorstep of the hotel. Okay, so we have this mountain of majestic mushrooms over here and a lot of produce in terms of mise en place going on. Can you talk us through the details of this dish? Yes, 100%. So the tart will start obviously with the short crust tart shell, which we add just a little bit of porcini powder in. Then we'll put in a little bit of wet mascarpone plenta. Um, the plenta we use has got a bit of buckwheat flour in it as well for a little bit more crunch. So okay. sort of silky in texture. Yes, exactly. And then on top of that, we'll do our rich, beautiful mushroom ragu. Cook that down for about an hour or so. Top the um, plenta with that. And then on top, I've got a little surprise at the table, so. Mm, that sounds really cool. What do you make of those flavours described here when it comes to the matching with the brut? When we think of mushrooms, we always think of you know, oak chardonnay or earthy pinot noir. 
And when we look at in the glass, we've got both. Chardonnay's the lead, and then we've got Pinot Noir to hold the body together. So there we start to think this could work. Okay, well that sounds tantamount to one terrific tart. And on that note, I am absolutely starving. So can we get started? Yes, absolutely. You can start chopping for us. Fantastic. And I'll get this on ice. See you later. those beautiful right. blue borage flowers. Oh, it's the borage leaves as well, isn't it? It is. One little surprise just to finish off. Just finish with a little bit of camber truffle. Amazing. That sounds like all of my favourite things rolled into one. Thank you so much for having us. That's all right, guys. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> You know, I love mushrooms because they are so substantial and meaty and earthy. But what I love about this is that it's still really light and has a delicacy about it that works beautifully with the champagne and its crispness. It's balanced really well and for me it's texture. Yeah. Just the texture with all those different components, bringing that texture in, balancing and matching the effervescence of the champagne and the food allows it to do it. Mm. Great match. Well, that was an absolutely action-packed day here at Capital Bar and Grill. Thank you so much, Josh, for having us. No problem. Thank you guys for coming. Now, people can come and try this perfect pairing anytime they like. Yes, 100%. Seven days a week, it's on the menu. Wonderful. Well, Chris, you and I are on to Melbourne next. But before we do that... Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys.